So many people are upset, sad, lonely, unhappy being single. So now is the time, I have to say, it's good, it's fine to be single. It's good to be single. You're never really single unless you think you're single. You may not have a partner, but you're never single. You're always part of life and the universe and society and families and nature. You're part of nature, you're part of the land, you're, you're standing on the land every day, mother nature, the ground beneath your feet, beautiful gift there all the time, every day, the sky above your head. So please never think that you're single. And recognize and see what happens if you start thinking, oh no, how, how lonely am I, I'm so single. Look at the, the emotional response. So I always like to say, use being single for enjoyment of life and for growth. You are going to be not single if you want if you want to be not single in a while. You'll have a girlfriend or boyfriend or partner. So every aspect of life is very important and precious. Just like every person is, is a unique part of the puzzle of, of life and the universe. Precious, important, beautiful, necessary, essential and magically unique. so too is each moment and each moment is like the step of the ladder it's it's necessary for until we get to the next step so even just an ordinary daily typical what some people might say boring part of your day or repetitive part of your day it's good it's important and it's necessary and give it its due and try and just don't resist with your mind with a lot of judgments and condemnations of yourself or or what's happening in your life so have a degree of trust in perfect timing and perfection there's so many things happening in the spirit world life is your life is created from two things spirit world spirit spirit world d synchronicities divine timings thing people coming people coming into your life at the exact right time to either teach you something it could be difficult it could be challenging it could be a loss to teach you something or to help you so people come and go teaching us and helping us in our life because of the spirit world spirit soul contracts our, our spirit family our angels helping us and our, the other part of our life is tremendously also created from our thoughts so what we're regularly thinking about and thus what we're regularly feeling. So I want to ask you now, what are you regularly thinking about while you're single? Or this, this video even applies to anyone who's in a relationship. What are you regularly thinking about? And as a result, do you know how you're regularly feeling because you're thinking these things? So I'm talking about your emotions now, which is your response to your thoughts. So if, if you can ever sit down for 10 seconds and, or a minute, be aware of what you're thinking and be aware of how you're feeling feeling emotionally. A lot of people say feelings are our deeper connection with our soul, the truth of who we are, the more of the truth of who we are, so like intuition, They're, they could be separated and not being called emotions but instead being called feelings and that's our deeper knowing, deeper sense, deeper down. So I want to ask you would you like to just have more fun in your life to lighten up with your mind and start to focus now on what what what's good in the world in your opinion what do you like what brings you happiness what brings you some excitement what makes you enthusiastic what you're enthusiastic about maybe the things your your hobbies things you like and love to do the people you like their good attributes So get enjoying life and, and start living a life of not resisting and not judging everything. Chill out in ordinary data language and relax. Calm down. Trust more and give. Give thanks much more. Much, 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 much more. So... You can pray and ask to your guides and angels 
and God sourced universe, all that is. Ask, ask for your needs and ask for a partner if you want. But just know that you won't be given a partner unless it's meant to be and it's right for you at that moment. And it could be to, it could be to you lose that partner after arguments after a month and that teaches you a lesson. Or it could be, you ha it's like a mixture of fun too and excitement, <laughs> mixture. But just know everything's temporary. So having a partner can be very temporary. Could be even temporary after only ha having them for a year or two. Don't, f now's the time for healing. If you're feeling sad or lonely, as I wanted to say at the beginning of the video, if you're feeling sad or lonely about being single, change your thoughts, but also there's a lot of hurts you've accumulated in the past, maybe abandonment, rejection, insults about having a physical body of some kind, like not nice looking or whatever. The physical body isn't you, of course, it's just a, your tool, like the film Avatar. It's like, it's like you're a thing that you navigate the physical world with. So, some people can see energy and they see like a little bit like the matrix they see energy and everything and then they some people they they don't have a shadow or they don't they can see through the translucent physical body because it's just like a hologram or the matrix some people call these words so don't take your body too seriously or overly seriously but give it the love and credit it deserves at the same time so now is the time if you have hurts to do a lot of crying it's essential for spiritual healing to cry a lot. Let the hurts and pains out. Whilst not creating new pain with your thoughts. Empty the bucket of pain, but don't fill it up at the same time with your thoughts creating more pain. So I'll just say, learn, learn and study spirituality. Look at yourself, look at your thoughts, look at your behavior. Try and use this time for purification or clearing of your, your body, your emotions, your, your mind, your energy field. The releasing of destructive or, or stuck cellular memories of hurts and traumas and different things. So use being single or any time in your moment, any moment in your life for healing. Cellular memories and clearing your energy and also this will activate your DNA more too. And your chakras too will all become more balanced and in harmony and more efficient and working, working happily and harmoniously. So with this, you're gonna experience life and go up the ladder. And sometimes the ladder goes down, like in snakes and ladders, you go up and you go down, you go up and you go down. So just keep learning, have a really good positive attitude, not to, not to be denying anything, always face the truth of how you're feeling and what you really think or feel. But at the same time, try focusing on what brings you happiness and gratitude, etc. too. So let out the hurts, the anger, etc. too. The, the, the disappointment, the loneliness, every, everything you've hurt, been hurt with in the past. Let it out. And you know, you can punch pillows or, or cry or yell or scream. And, and just know you're doing this because you want to heal. And that's the reason. And knowing you're, it is healing and knowing you're expressing yourself for the purpose of healing, knowing you're doing this in the moment is called conscious expression, conscious venting, conscious release, conscious discharge of the hurt and the energy. So, so there you go. I've given you a lot of ingredients now and how you're gonna be much happier in life and just much happier and much more peace and that's all I wanted to say really yeah that's that's short enough uh, long enough short enough so thanks for watching I hope you had a, a nice time watching and one other thing just keep learning and learn about health too try not eat lots and lots of like processed foods and the food you know you know factory farmed meat or factory farmed dairy etc I don't recommend dairy or meat generally ever really as a general part of your diet definitely not dairy and stuff like processed foods you probably know that yourself so just juices green juices fruits that are ripe whole foods dairy free <laughs> gluten free and soya free if possible too so take care and wishing you 
wishing you a lovely outlook on life now and much more pleasantness and trust and inner peace and harmony. So, below the video you can befriend me on Facebook if you want to connect there. I also do one-to-one -one coaching. Link below. You're welcome to subscribe. You're welcome to share. You're welcome to leave a comment. Okay, well, see you again in another video. Bye. Have a nice day and blessings to you.